All right, so we got it all up and running. Temperature, everything's running good. We got the mineralization tank. This is the other item there. So what happens is, is when this, there's beads up here in this top part right here, probably from here up. The water comes in, go, and the water has to go through the beads, and that's what separates the poop and also the uneaten food. And then the clear water comes into this pipe, goes into the UV sterilizer that's all been filtered. That right there kills all the bacteria, so like the fish don't get ick or anything. Basically, that is their uh, basically that's their immune system. And then that water comes back in here, swirls. And the way that this is swirling, it's going to take everything to the bottom, and it's going to uh, go back to the pump, back to the filter. Now, this little pump right here adds air on the top of this. There's an airflow meter that's on these. And so what happens is, is this slowly starts to push that uh, pressure down, and it pushes that water. And then back here, you'll see like it'll start to have a bubble, okay? As soon as that bubble vapor locks and it comes down into here, it shakes, it sends a bubble up into this chamber, shakes all those beads and all the poop, and then all that poop comes down through this container right here and into this chamber where it comes and splashes over this hump and it goes into this chamber where it, it gets stored. And so it's constantly, uh, it's constantly uh, filtering the water out and taking out the settable solids. The fish don't need the plants, but the plants need the fish. So you just come over here, you turn this valve on one time a day, let out about two or three gallons. That'll end up coming up here and then it goes into, um, it goes into this tank. This tank, the way I designed it, this right here will fill it in. It's got an elbow. I don't know if you can see it, but you have aeration down there. So that heavy sludge and that poop and that eating food has to be broke down. There's going to be bacteria in here, nitrous ammonis and nitrous bactus. That's going to break down, and with the oxygen, it's going to aerobically break down the settable solids. As this fills up, it's going to just trickle over into this. This is make sure that it filters all, all the water so only clean water comes out, okay? That will trickle overflow. It'll come through this pipe through wall. It drops down and it goes into the sump. The sump is where it's caught and it gets pumped up to the beds. And so basically all your nutrients Start with the filter and that tank right there. When the settable solids start to get too much, I can open this up and put it in a five gallon bucket and I can go put it in the rose bushes or something or even an outside plant. Anyways, that's all intertwined and all set up. And so that's how it works. So basically, once the stuff is in there, that aerobically breakdown of the settable solids will increase the nutrient content by 60% by aerating it. And so basically it'll come in here and it's going to be ripe, rich, all natural fertilizer for the plants. And that's how the plants will end up getting delivered through the side wall there on the hip rail. And there she is. And she'll come through there. Water's aerated almost at every point. It drains and it keeps going back through on a recirculating system. This system is called a decoupled system. And what it does is, is it takes the nutrients from the fish, but this does water. Traditionally, will go back to the fish, but it doesn't in this scenario. This helps me out a lot because what ends up happening is, is if I have plants in here that are taking too much nitrogen or too much phosphorus or something, I could add natural... Uh, um, organic fertilizer to it and I can also add additives too so we don't have to worry about the water uh, including the fish anyway so we got it up and running it's cycling we added the, uh, the bacteria to the system so the system is going to start collecting and growing on those beads so we got a rack up there for our stuff all oh, my quad tires they packaged them to me and they zip stripped them and so I have to put them out here in the heat so they'll loosen up so we can get them on the rims.
That way we can go gold panning. Anyways, and then there's the uh, there's the tomato plant. Tomorrow we're gonna hang that uh we're gonna hang the uh, strand up top. Anyways, it's coming along. Thanks to this guy right here. And thanks to this guy right here. Yeah, all you do is talk to your girlfriends. So, anyway, so yeah, mineralization tank. Y'all be blessed.